Highland Clansmen cost 150 florins, making them one of the cheapest units in the game. They have excellent attack, a very strong charge, and are fast moving infantry, but they have very weak defence and will shatter easily on the charge. They are comparable to the Arban Militia, who only cost 200 florins. They can only be recruited in Scotland, even if you're playing the Scottish. For this reason, they will also always start off with one Valour. Despite their lower costs, and even without their extra Valour, Highland clansmen tend to dominate Arban Militia. This was one of the worst tests for the Highland clansmen that I encountered, and well, just watch what happens. So as we can see, the Highland Clansmen had a very poor charge, which is very unusual as they usually get a very good impact. However, over time, they've managed to turn the tables on the Urban Militia, and we can see which way this battle is going. This is a much more typical result. I have seen the Urban Militia win once, but it's very much an outlier, and normally the Highland Clansmen will win. Even in multiplayer, obviously in campaign with their extra valor, they'll win pretty much all of the time. Of course, if you're playing on Expert, this may not be true. Now we come to one of the most interesting matchups, Highland Clansmen vs Spearmen. As we can see, the Highland Clansmen get an excellent impact against the Spearmen, but they will start to lose ground as the Spearmen's rank bonus comes into play and they start to push back. This was an exceptionally strong result for the Highland Clansmen, so we don't see that as much here. However, as the Spearmen take casualties, they start to benefit from their formation and from their rank bonus less. This is still a very close fight, and both units are more or less at the halfway mark. However, as the fight progresses, the Highland Clansmen, because they get more kills individually, gain a unit of Valor, and this allows them to defeat the Spearmen in most instances. This isn't a guaranteed win for the Highland Clansmen, the Spearmen can defeat them, but this is the usual result as the Valor ensures they dominate the fight. Given their additional costs in campaign, the Urban Militia had a bad enough day against the Highland Clansmen. What about the even more expensive Militia Sergeants? Well as you can see, if the Urban Militia had a bad day, then the Militia Sergeants are even more of a mismatch. The Highland Clansmen consistently slaughter them. Militia Sergeants are an anti-armour unit and should be used in that role. Don't waste them against cheap shock infantry. So the Highland Clansmen have so far dominated every unit that I would consider Dark Age in terms of their level of technology. What about the Feudal roster? Well against Feudal Sergeants the situation is interesting. It once again comes down to whether or not the Highland Clansmen can break through the Feudal Sergeants formation before the superior uh, power of the Feudal Sergeants can push them back. Now 
Now in this particular instance, the Highland Clansmen actually do it. You can see that the Feudal Sergeant's formation has broken, and they're now taking far heavier casualties. In addition to that, the Highland Clansmen have got their extra units of Valor, and as we can see, the Feudal Sergeants are getting broken fairly rapidly. Things do begin to swing the Feudal Sergeant's way as they begin to outflank the Highlanders who have charged in the more narrow plane. I'm going to spoil this, the Highland Clansmen lose, but not for the reason you'd expect. Can you see it? Yeah, the general died at the last minute, but there were still less feudal sergeants than Highlanders, so the unit won. This is the more usual result. So the feudal sergeants have managed to stop the Highland charge, and now they're beginning to drive the Highlanders back. This is what you're going to see in 80 to 85 percent of your games. Your general is ignobly quitting the field in fear. Now come the feudal men's arms. Feudal men at arms cost 350 florins, so they're much more expensive than the Highland Clansmen. But sometimes you get what you pay for. As you can see, the Feudal men at arms have a very bad charge and take heavy casualties. If you can get the Highland Clansmen into the back of the Feudal men at arms, it'll probably be a bad day for them. However, as the fight goes on, it rapidly starts to turn against the Highlanders. This exchange may still be cost effective depending on your objectives. Half of 350 is 175. Highlanders only cost 150, so you've already got your money back. Now none of these tests have taken into account the extra valor that the Highlanders get in campaign, so the previous tests are more effective for players who are playing multiplayer. Let's see how it works when the units of raw feudal sergeants go against the units of Highlanders from campaign who have the extra valor stat. We can already see that the Highlanders have taken very few casualties. And we're already at the point where the Feudal Sergeant's formation is starting to break down. In the end, it's not even a close fight, and I test this relentlessly. Feudal Sergeants cost 400 florins to recruit, so this is a devastating exchange. Now, will the extra point in Valor be enough to overcome the Feudal Men at Arms, who are much more ferocious and prolonged melee? We can see that the initial charge is even more ferocious with the Met Feudal Man's Arms quickly reaching 3 quarter strength. It takes much longer, but the Feudal Men at Arms gradually claw ground back. As the battle reaches its zenith, it turns out that it's not even close for the Highland Clansmen. Even the extra point of valor wasn't enough in the end. Your general has let caution get the better of him, and now he flees. As for cavalry, 
Here's a unit of hobblers. There's a unit of hobblers. All of this testing ignores the fact that you probably don't want to use your Highland Clansmen against the enemy's front line. In this test, I've set three units of weak spearmen and one unit of Highland Clansmen against the more senior feudal sergeants. The Highland Clansmen are fast moving, and let's see what difference this makes. The Highland Clansmen break the Feudal Sergeants almost instantly. And it doesn't take them long to be felt as they roll up the line either. Enemy routers get in the way, but we do eventually manage to get into the backs of the final feudal sergeant unit. Note that I'm clicking as hard as I can to force the Highlanders to go where they need to go. We end up killing 257 units, and we lose 131 of our own, for 589 men remaining. Now we repeat the test, but with a unit of urban militia as the flankers. Remember that in campaign, the urban militia are actually more expensive, and in multiplayer they're the same cost. You can see already that the slower speed is making a big difference. The urban militia are taking a long time to lumber into position. Even when they impact, it takes them a long time to crush the first feudal sergeant unit. This unit had already long broken and been annihilated by this point. I don't have the same confidence in the urban militia that I did in the Highland Clansmen, so I have to lumber around the back of the next enemy unit instead of just crashing into the side. And again, the uh, unit's slower speed comes into effect. While the urban militia struggle with the second unit of feudal sergeants, I actually have to resort to throwing the first unit of spearmen into the back of the feudal sergeants general's unit, because they're just not going to get there fast enough otherwise. We even see my last unit of spearmen start to waver a little bit. In the end, we do win, but it's a lot less convincing. We actually kill more enemies this time, but that's because they took a longer time to run. And we're left with only 398 men, 
a much worse result. So what does this tell us about the Highland Clansmen and how we should use them? Well, they're kind of Scotland's secret weapon in the early game, and they compensate for its very poor starting position. They can even defeat feudal units with their Valor bonus, and they're very cost-effective, only costing 150 florins. This is even when used in the front line, but they're best used as fast flanking infantry, which can rapidly crush enemy front lines, one unit after another. They're not good against cavalry, however, and need to be kept away from the horsemen as much as possible. Well, that about wraps this up. I've been Napoleon Complex. Thank you for listening to this information. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.